YouTubers. Today we're gonna to talk about gemstones that are more valuable than diamonds. Well, not all diamonds, just one of the most popular, the modern round brilliant cut. To set our benchmark, we'll be using the value of an untreated one carat eye clean colorless and of course, well cut diamond. While diamond prices vary with the market and your bargaining skills, we're gonna set ours at $4,000. First, let's talk about beryl. You've probably heard of aquamarine and emerald, the blue and green varieties. But since beryl is naturally colorless, it can come in all sorts of colors with the presence of trace elements. Heliodor, Goshenite, and Morganite are all varieties of the hexagonal gem we know and love. But have you heard of Bixbite? It's more commonly referred to as red barrel, and it's the rarest variety. Most of the gem quality material comes from the Wawa Mountains in Utah, but like emerald, it's usually highly included. It gets its red color from manganese, and it's extremely rare to find a crystal larger than one carat. It's way more scarce than colorless diamond and almost unheard of to find as a one carat untreated gem. Because of this, an eye clean one carat faceted stone would be so incredibly rare. It could cost upwards of $15,000 or more per carat. Next, staying in the USA, but changing colors, we have Benitoite. This elusive stone was found in San Benito County, California in 1907. And while it has been found in other places around the world, gem quality material is exclusive to the original Benitoite gem mine. This earned it the honor of State Gemstone of California in 1985. Not only is it a fine enough gem to share the spotlight with diamond, but the fire and dispersion of lighter colored cut material can outright steal the show. Benito White is fluorescent, can be light to dark blue, purplish, and even white, but the rarest color is pink. It's usually smaller than one carat, but quality stones that do meet that mark can be worth up to $8,000. Next on our list is maybe the most famous one of the bunch, Alexandrite. It was first discovered around 1831 and was named after Tsar Alexander II of Russia. It's also an alternate birthstone for June. It's very hard and very tough, making it perfect for jewelry, but you won't see much Alexandrite jewelry because there simply isn't enough in the market. It's too rare. A large part of what makes Alexandrite so alluring is its color change property. In daylight, the stone is a nice deep green. Take it inside by an incandescent bulb or a nice cozy fire, and it turns a wine red. A clean stone that strongly exhibits this color change can easily double, if not triple, the price of diamond around the one carat mark. Here's another one you may be familiar with, tourmaline. It's chemically more complex than other gemstones and can come in many colors, sometimes even more than one, like the aptly named watermelon tourmaline, one of my favorites. For our list, we've chosen Pariba tourmaline. It was first discovered in 1989 near San Jose de Batalha in the Brazilian state of Pariba. It is a beautiful electric blue to greenish blue color due to the presence of trace amounts of copper and sometimes even gold, which is uncommon for tourmaline, which has sparked a debate around whether material from these locales should be called Pariba tourmaline, since it is not from Pariba, Brazil. Whatever you call it, fine faceted one carat stones of the original material from Brazil can carry a price of $10,000 per carat. All right, bear with me guys. Things are gonna get a bit obscure. Let's talk about tarfite. It was discovered in 1945 in a parcel of spinel when it was noticed that one of the stones was doubly refractive. Definitely not spinel, which is a singly refractive gemstone. When it was studied, they determined that it was a new, previously undiscovered gemstone. Super cool. They're still quite rare and tend to be smaller than two carats. Anything over five is super rare. Tarfite comes in purple, violet, and colorless, but the rarest colors are red and blue. The main source of this stone is Sri Lanka, where it can be found among alluvial gravel at the surface. It can be found in Myanmar, Tanzania, and China, but the material from China is too small to facet. If a fine color crystal is large enough to be faceted into a one carat stone, it can fetch between five and $8,000 per carat, wow. Next, we have one of the most fun names in the business, Halloween. This rare stone is rarely ever faceted and can come in white, gray, green, yellow, pink, red, and blue. 
When it is faceted, its color can be described as transparent faceted lapis, which is a stunning image. Until recently, the only gem quality material was blue and found only in Germany. In 2003, Jemmy Yellow Green Halloween was found in Tanzania, and in 2006, more material like the German blue kind was found in Afghanistan. Though faceted gems rarely exceed one carat, the original deep blue variety can quickly exceed $10,000 a carat once it's past the magical one carat mark. Lastly, we have grandidiorite. It was first discovered in Madagascar, but other sources have since emerged. While it's not the rarest on this list, it forms in very small pockets that are quickly depleted. The other issue is that, up until around 2015, gem quality material that was large enough to be faceted was virtually unheard of. In 2003, the first ever transparent and faceted stone was produced and weighed in at a modest 0.3 carats. Despite its size, it came with a price tag of $50,000. A third of a carat, that's like, that's big. For 50 grand? For those of you who don't speak fractions, that's well over $150,000 a carat. Now, with the material more widely available, though still extremely rare, you can get a top stone more than three times that size for a mere six to $7,000 a carat. That's it for our list today, guys. What would you like to see us list next? Let me know down in the comments and tell me, which one of these stones would you like to have? I really wouldn't mind a nice one carat pari tourmaline. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our newest videos. Thanks for watching.